explain why the sharp increase, but it is said that this can be fun for our antiques and dumb locals. Excuse me, where's the barn sale? At the end. Where'd he go? Who cares? stuck here. I don't know. It's hard to read when you're hunting. Probably a riddle book with no answers anyway. Strange experiments. Sugar Plum. There's only one exit. Yeah. We need to get to the electronics department anyway. I have an idea. So now you're the expert. I am, after all, just an unsophisticated hack. I'm hungry. Me too. I'd like to go to the hotel before dark. to remember your roots. This switch isn't blown. We'll be sending a call for help in a few minutes. Anybody recognize it? Yeah, everybody knows SOS, we buns. They'll understand it. If it works, you mean? If? I am cut to the quick. My inventions always work. Of course they do, my big boy. I just meant... You know, it'll work here. Yeah. Kind of weird though, huh? 
You just put that sign out. Nothing but nature out here. I need to get a few pics. Seriously? Old poison seam rat cover barn in the middle of nowhere? I've only read about places like this. Well, now I'll have pictures. Prove how worldly we are. I thought we were done with that. I'm sorry. Time is screwed up. Couldn't others be here? We wouldn't see them, would we? I suppose not. I wonder what would happen if we fucked shit up in somebody else's time. Honestly, Jake, can't you just focus on one thing at a time? Like maybe getting your SOS thing in work? Do you like a pink ring in your box? You're sick. It's ready. Find a battery. Toy department. It's no time to play, sugar butt. Get batteries. Secrets and such. Cursed me all secret stuff. Hit. But it's my camera. My film. Ah, but it's my reality. Look. I'm just trying to capture some inspiration here. How about I give you a ten spot? So let me take a few pictures. An eye for an eye. A reality for a reality. Right. If you want any more than this, you'll have to talk to my lawyer. Please, I insist. 
Crazy sugar lips. Not a good one. They're back. You shit. actually try to charge me to take pictures? Who? The guy in the barn with the peely face. Yeah, right. No, seriously. He snuck up behind me about scared the shit out of me. He said I had to pay him if I wanted to take any pictures. Not the guy I was talking to. He never left the barn. The hell he didn't? Nick, he followed me around like a puppy from the time I came in. Must have been a brother. Yeah, a freaky twin, right? And they still dress to match? Check under the hood. You call AAA. Love your confidence. Oh, shit. Oh, 
chicken little. Come on, man. Pictures, perhaps? Uh, neither, really. Our car won't start, and we were hoping you could help. Help you what? Uh, help start it? Some jumper cables, maybe? Oh, it won't start here, Mr. Sabos. This is a place of ending. The barn sale at the end. How about a phone we can use? Do any of these work? Oh, yes, yes. Guaranteed, every one of them guaranteed to work. Not here, of course. Is there any way you could help us get back to the road? No, you can't leave just yet, Mr. Solomons. Wh why? Because there's something you need to learn. Something you need to give me. Oh, I get it. You do something to the car, and then you put the squeeze on us. I assure you, Mr. Solomons, I'm not a... Freaking mechanic. Well, I won't play. I'm sure even here, robbery's illegal. Mr. Sabos, did you think yourself a spy and find yourself a fly? Don't talk bug shit to me. I didn't try to scam anybody. Didn't you, Mr. Sabos? We're leaving. We'll be back with the police, and we'll see who they think is scam. Be dark soon. Be mindful of the ruins show the dangerous at night. I found something for your sweet tooth. What is it? Candy. A little stale, but still sweet and tasty. Find anything new in there? The potato can understand? Good news and bad news. Tell me the bad news first. I think we're bait. I changed my mind. Give me the good news first. We're not alone. And I'm not talking about those ruins we keep pretending not to see. Really? I haven't seen anybody but those ugly brutes. There are ghosts. And maybe others. Stuck here just like us. I'm not sleeping in the car, Nick. I'm not either. Get in. What the hell is going on here? What did that guy mean? I don't know, but we're not sticking around to find out. What are we going to do? Pack the phones in the night bag. We're going to walk out to the damn road and get help. But it's getting late already. All the more reason to hurry. Then why haven't I seen him? Because time is weird. It'll all come together soon. Really starting to hate that book. There's something else. I am beginning to see them. Did he say something about pigs? Yeah. That guy has ears like Dumbo. Coincidence? Don't be stupid. Don't start blaming me for this, too. Be dark soon. Let's keep your doors locked and your windows rolled. Why? Ruins. They smell newcomers. Ruins ain't safe at night. You must be safe. That fucking guy is weird. His whole demeanor keeps changing. It's like a bad imitation you of... You son of a bitch. What? This is some kind of sick joke, isn't it? You probably have cameras rolling. I wish. I'd even be happy if the joke was on me. Tell me the truth, because this isn't funny. It's the truth. Let's just pay 
pay the man if that's what he wants. Damn it, Jen. I'm not gonna get robbed by some hick. I don't get mugged in New York. I'm not gonna get mugged here. Pretty sophisticated scam. Then I wouldn't understand it. You know that's not what I meant. Let's just pay the man and report it. You can get your damn money back. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Why don't we just stay on the damn road? few books, buddy. And I've been chosen to pay off the scam guy, if that's what you mean. Are you with him? We've been stuck here waiting for you. So you are the bag man. How much is this hoax going to cost us? Hoax? You strand us here and extort money to help? Is that how it works? They don't even know yet, Jake. Know what? All will gather in time. What's she saying? What book is that? Please tell me it says King or Coons or Sarvos on the cover. Like a sick diary. You've been stuck here since my wife bought it. He gave it to me. He needs you to take form, you know? Have a body. Who needs a body? Strange little dude. He's a demon spirit. He uses his rooms to... Whoa, slow down there, Uncle Henry. Or you'll wind up back in the Cracker Factory. What are they? Past experiments gone wrong. Come on, Jen. You're not really buying this shit, are you? I'm not saying I believe it. Well, I haven't lost my mind yet. So let me remind everybody, this is Earth. We're starving, we're stinking, scared, but we're not crazy. We weren't in the same time, Jake. They just don't understand. You're right, I don't understand. Two days? Why haven't you left? Have you even tried? Yeah, you've tried. Sweat, 
Let me set this trap. Mr. Mac's gonna come in handy. Maybe our vodka is still there. And you can finish reading that stupid book, too. Following headlights. The road can't be far. Yeah, that's how I got here. Strange headlights, aren't they? They go on for a while, then they're gone. This is foolishness. This is not really happening. I'm not exactly asking the hero from one of your books. Yeah, well, it's a lot easier being a made up hero in a story. I never expected. What? To actually need to be heroic? No. No. Hell, everybody wants to find a wreck and save somebody. But this is some whack shit, Jen. I mean, the fucking car suddenly doesn't start. Two separate fully charged phones just quit working. Freaking time stops. That old guy, the couple from the Twilight Zone. Her? It's all a little bit too weird. I just want to wake up. Well, obviously only the hero will survive. Everyone else will get picked off one by one with just the two of us. Well, that's real fucking helpful, Jen. We're lost in the middle of a field. No car, no phone. There's all sorts of crazy noises I ain't even heard at the zoo. Maybe we're experiencing oh, some. Shit. No, hear me out. You're always bitching about how old and tired and dry life seems. 
how you wish for some adventure like in one of your novels. Maybe this is it. Maybe. Those are stories, Jen. Novels. Not true. Not real. Then what is real? If we were to file a police report right now, what do you think they'd say? Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Author. Your car wouldn't start, your phones quit working, and what's that? There were strange, scary noises out in the field you ran off and got lost in? Oh, yes, sir. We'll get out there and check that out right away. What do you want us to do? Do you want us to just sit here until morning, or do you want to do something? Anything! I'm gonna sit down. You're kidding me, right? No. I need to rest and think. We need to follow those headlights. Back to the barn. You two do whatever the hell you want. I need to rest and think. Why can't they help you? Nick. I'm a demon. But uh Bowie Scouts. Now, you really need to get back to the barn. There are ruins about out here. And you are not safe. I'll be on my way now. I'll be seeing you soon if the ruins do not see with us. Just go, all right? It's done. 
Brother Lufer. Hell, I can't even help myself. I suggest you go easy on that. It's laced. You'll have visions enough here without it. Some real, some not. Remember this there is nothing real here beyond your perceptions. Strange as it might seem, your best chance to live is if he is successful. Get your buddy down to his dobu, where he is real. The passageway is by the heat. Remember that. By the heat. Dear love, but I don't think it will help. Why, am I spelling? I think this place keeps changing. So, my Hollywood could be in Washington in half an hour. I'm afraid so.
knew some shit like this was gonna happen. He's dead. Yeah, unless he learned to live out ahead. Oh, this is officially a bummer. I saw that guy earlier. I recognized the shirt. I never thought I'd be glad you're a Don't get too comfortable. I drove a tank and had lots of friends with guns. It's when they said that you're a violent train killer. Did I mention I had a tank? I wish I'd say it was a good thing. Thanks. Sorry. I'm just a scared flat. Well, if we ever find him again, I'm joining the club. Let's get out of here before something wants seconds. I left a frail of chocolate pieces. You know how I feel about wasting food. No waste. I ate them on the way back. <laughs> you were so gross. Finished reading that book? No, almost. Don't want to talk about it? We need to find the entrance and bring him to it. You won't want to go. Who would? Any clue where to look? No. Will we even recognize it when we see it? I'm not sure. Well, what then? Do we need a special weapon? Should I build us a laser taser? Focus, Jake. Find entrance. We need anything special. The book doesn't mention it. Find the entrance for my princess, so let it be done. Yeah. 
Come here. Quickly. What was that fucking thing? A ruin? We saw the innkeeper. A demon. Shit, I don't know. Fuck, yeah, a demon. some warp survivor game and i lost the fucking vote i'm just telling you what i know because the book says so i understand how you feel i doubt it unless you're insane i woke up this morning had breakfast went cruising on a beautiful day and now i'm stuck in this nightmare this is all fresh for you we've been here for days i think so you're saying this night won't end until I follow the plan. Well, maybe a long time yet, Jake. Because I'm in no hurry to go creeping around looking for monsters. It'd be better to go quickly. Things will only get worse. Better for who? I don't see anybody asking you to sacrifice yourself. Did you, did you listen to what I told you? You're sacrificing us. Your inaction puts us all in danger. And that includes your wife. And what happens when I get there? What guarantees does a demon give? I don't know. But I'll stick with you as long as I can. You can't stay here. I found a better spot where we can protect ourselves. I need to think. Lisa, can you keep an eye on that ladder?
barricaded us in here pretty well. Why don't you fucking wake up to what needs to be done? mostly here. We've all done quite well. We've done our part. You let us go now. Not just yet. You've led him to the entrance, but he hasn't gone in. You're with him? No. I just did what needed to be done. You fucking cocksucker. Now settle down. There's no need to spoil everything now. Those have you learned nothing? I have no body. That's the whole point. And you think my husband will give you his? No, not at all. I just need his participation in a few experiments. Like those poor ruined creatures participated? Well, there have been some unfortunate mistakes. Such is the process of learning. You son of a bitch. Alas, I am motherless. And heartless, vile, and disgusting. You steal life to feign humanity, but your sick, twisted games will never make you human or give you a soul. Fade away and die. Would that I could. Fade away, perhaps. But die? No, no such sweet relief for me. Just eternity from the outside, looking at on life, but unable to participate in it. Forever a spectator watching those who do have the speak of life wasted away in boredom. That's not our fault. Correct, crazy Lisa, but it most certainly is your problem, is it not? But perhaps your time will be short, Mr. Sabos. May quickly prove to be a hero. I'm no hero, mister. I just want to get out of here. All of us do. Well, your freedom lies in there. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. You're a writer, not a reader. I confess I was a bit distraught that you didn't find my book interesting enough to read. But then, writing never really has been my interest. But why me? I'm a nobody. You are quite the somebody, Mr. Salvos. You are the lamb of the week, and the lives of all these people rest in your hands. Now I'd call that something. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. All your life has prepared you for me, Mr. Salvos. Why do you talk in riddles? Look, I'm no Agatha Christie, all right? I give up. How fucking noble. That despite everything, you still try and piece together your reality. But here, Mr. Sabos, quitting is not an option. I'm not trying to be noble. That is obvious. My sarcasm apparently was not. What about us? Well, hopefully, you can convince our friend you to help. Time is growing short. You can't kill us. You need us alive. 
I'm afraid ruins aren't always dependable, despite the consequences of disobedience. Besides, I don't need him. I'll leave you a little something to keep your strength up. I like to call it two food. Confront him in his lair. But you seem awfully anxious to get me killed. You don't get it, do you? He's gonna kill us off one by one until you decide that facing him can't be any worse. And what if that doesn't work? What if that doesn't work? If you can stand by and watch your wife get butchered for your own fear, then you're already dead. Step up to the plate. You're a raving lunatic. You really are quite a puzzle, Mr. Sullivan. I've had everything life, love, money, opportunity, and yet still you find something to complain about. You've done all your living in the pages of your books while rarely giving glance to the marvelous wonders of life. You take for granted everything I've struggled in eternity to gain. Are you fucking telling me that you butchered these people because I didn't stop and smell the roses? Tell me, Mr. Summers, why would I give a pig's ass about you? Do you think that's when God stirred the primal ooze in old Ernest worlds about number that I chose to be cast aside, alive but without substance? No, Mr. Samos, no! What do you want from me? Well, I need a willing participant with the right blood. Someone who puts their own life before anything else. I'm a real anti here. I'm not volunteering. I'm more reluctant to it would be hard to hide. But you will, Mr. Sun. You will. Why would I? Because the ruins will grow increasingly hungry, Mr. Sapos, and they will teach you that there are worse things than death. I'll be retiring to my den now, Mr. Sapos. I hope to see some of you there soon. let you down then, because I'm not going down there. I'm offering you the same thing your God did, Mrs. Sellers. Free will. It's the 
your choice. But making no choice is a choice. Time is not a friend of your prejudices. So, time is the one thing that's on my side. of sacrificing myself. <laughs> no one's asking him to do it alone. We're all in this together. Well, he wasn't asking you for anything, was he? Do you ever think of anybody but yourself? What about your wife? Are you just going to sit here and wait to be attacked? I'm not going to let him experiment on me. Death. Oh, I don't see you. Whoa. Whoa. Did you hear that? 
saw it. Jake? Jake? Well, go on. Or do you want to sit here and think until we're all dead? Quickly, 
while his heart still beats, you old fool. too comfortable. I drove a tank and had lots of friends with guns. It's still nice to know you're a hired killer.
she didn't come close enough. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that the guy with the sign? Something I can help you with? A rare antique, perhaps? <laughs> Not really. What the fuck is so funny here, Mrs. Sarbo? Not really. A bit slappy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys. <laughs> Cut. And action. Looking for something special? A rare antique, perhaps? <laughs> we are rolling. And action. Looking for something special? A rare antique. <laughs> Quiet on the set. We are rolling. And action. Looking for something special. <laughs> hey, Mr. How much are we going to. Cut. Stand by. Whack. My hero. <laughs> that thing is whack with the fish. Mm -hmm. Around. What do you think, Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> no! No, something's following us. <laughs> I didn't know what you think. You looked over and you go... Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Quiet on set. Stop. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I don't know. I'm so tired. Rolling <laughs> and action. Don't start blaming me from this, from this too. <laughs> Camera's rolling and action. Don't start blaming me for this too. Be dark soon. Let's keep your doors locked and your windows rolled. Why? Ruins. They smell newcomers, sure. <laughs> Drawing and action. Don't start blaming me for this, too. <laughs> Rolling. Stop. Hold on. Stop. 
And action. Don't start blaming me for this, too. <laughs> Try! Good job, it! Camera's rolling. And action. Don't start blaming me for this, too. Be doxed. <laughs> Try! Try! In no, his no. direction, at least. And action. Be doxed. Let's keep your doors locked and your windows rolled. <laughs> Ruins! <laughs> and action. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. That fucking demon. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't chew. You're so cute, <laughs> Oh God, ruins. Cut. That was good yeah. until you laughed. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was really that was what you laughed for? Because it sounded funny to me. <laughs> but I'm starting to believe that you're awake. Are you awake? <laughs> Not for the first time. A demon. Shit, I don't know. Not for the first time. A demon. A demon. Shit, I don't know. How about these phones? Do any of these phones work? Um, never try. Hello? Hello. Hey, hold on. Wait. Hello? Hello? Hey, I can hear wait. Hello. 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 Wait, you go. Hello. What? Somebody was just. Oh. I swear it's walking! Who is this? Hello? 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 Demon, you said they did. Hello? 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 Hey! Get off! Yes! I just missed up! These damn phones work. You don't know what you're talking about. God. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Let me get a big blood dude. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Protect me through the dark of night and wake my soul with dawn's first light. God bless mommy and daddy and all the children all around the world. And we lived on this old farm that had a great old barn in the back, and everybody thought, gee, wouldn't it be great to go make a horror movie? Well, we knew we couldn't do anything spectacular. We had no budget. We would uh, write a script, which I did. I wrote it basically for only three characters. 
we had virtually no special effects. It was just going to be a dialogue type of movie because we figured we couldn't do anything else. I think probably one of the, uh, the best pieces of advice that I can give to anybody that wants to go out and make a film and uh, doesn't really know a lot about what they're doing is take the time to sit down and make a plan first. Not just having a script, not just having an idea, but an actual plan for uh, how your movie is going to be shot, where you're going to shoot it, who you're going to need. Getting people together, especially when you have no money, and getting them together consistently is a very difficult thing to do. It took us 12 weekends to shoot this movie, and, and by the 12th weekend, it was a lot of tired people. They were giving up a big part of their lives to come out and do this, and uh, all they got in return for it was a whole lot of work so we know and some it cold, it. long nights Someone and, uh, you know, some Cheetos and Red Bull. Realize that when you uh, go out and you lines? shoot, work, you're not laws, always going to be able to stick with your plan. Your you're going to have to improvise. You're going to have to change. Right. You just blow in the wind? Uh, we had a lot of fun and we learned an awful lot in the process and that's what we set out to do no. so uh, at least at in that regard the movie was a success wait a minute and I decided to uh, run outside every half hour or so and uh, take some pictures for stock footage, uh, part of which we used in the movie. I'm sure you recognize the scene here. Uh, caught something on the film was pretty interesting. Didn't notice it at the time that uh, I filmed it, but picked it up later looking at the film, and here it's played in slow motion. You will notice to the right of the moon, uh, about a third of the way between the moon and the right-hand side of the picture, a very short flash of light. It only lasts two frames. A lot of times I miss it completely. Uh, but just after that, a shadow appears to the right of the moon and moves from right to left across the moon, but it appears to be behind the moon. Uh, I've shown it to a lot of people, got a lot of uh, <clears throat> explanations as to what it was, but uh, I still don't know what it is. I suspect it's a plane or whatever, but it, it's pretty cool. And we ended up using it in the movie. So if you watch vertically, it's about halfway up and it's directly to the right of the moon. Starts with a very short flash of light and then you'll see this shadow come across the, uh, the face of the moon. It's pretty neat. Check it out. One of the uh, great ideas we had at one point was to uh, build this door frame out in the middle of nowhere and kind of use it as a uh, portal through which we would tell our story by using uh, mats and uh, chroma keys and so forth to uh, show things through the doorway. And uh, we went out there one night and put the frame up. It was getting cold and uh, we had people standing around waiting to uh, start shooting and uh, something happened that we didn't expect and while nobody wanted to admit it it kind of freaked everybody out so nobody said anything about giving up on that idea I didn't realize until much later in uh, going through some of the film and piecing things together and looking over some of the stuff we'd done down at the portal that it had actually been captured on film so watch the doorway there in, in the background. It's a little difficult to see, but uh, it was very easy when you were there in person up towards the uh, upper left corner of the doorway. Boogie, boogie, boogie.